tech, uh, Apple and Microsoft will report their first quarter numbers today after the bell. We've also got other companies reporting uh, today as well as this week, like Starbucks and Visa later today. What are you expecting to see from big tech on earnings? Well, I think they're going to destroy earnings, and I think that uh, that's been the theme so far this earnings season. 84 percent of companies have already beat earnings and by an average of 30 percent. But I think the problem here is what we're going to see, Maria, is tech fatigue. And I think Tesla is indicative of this. Tesla blew away their earnings yesterday. Their revenue was up over 74 percent, which is just mind-blowing. And they made a $100 million sell in Bitcoin. And I know Dennis Gartman loves Bitcoin, but that's another story <laughs> altogether. Uh, but the stock today is down 2 <laughs> percent. The stock today is down 2 percent with that kind of fantastic news. But you have to remember, Tesla still trades at 175 years worth of profits. So I think you're going to see the same problem as we move into earnings season here, is you're going to see big numbers come in from tech, but you're going to be very disappointed with the stock prices. Um, and if you look at tech year to date, it's up balance. Like energy stocks are up, energy is up over 30 percent for the year. Financials are up over 20 percent for the year. If you start looking at real estate investment trusts, uh, which did horrible last year, they're up 15 percent this year. Commodity prices up 15 percent this year, which says to me, with inflationary pressure growing and Dennis Gar Garvin talks prizes coming from a lot of these sectors that just got creamed last year, that's the place you want your money. Tech's going to continue to disappoint as earnings season, especially this week as tech starts to, you know, uh, essentially announce their earnings.